Hi, I'm Robert Scott, the city's urban forestry summer student, and today we'll be discussing the emerald ash borer. The emerald ash borer, Agrilus planipennis, is an exotic wood boring beetle from the family Buprestidae, the jewel beetles. Hailing from Eastern Asia, it has decimated the southern Ontario population of ash trees near its presumed point of entry, Detroit. It was first detected in North America in 2002, though estimates believe it may have been here since as early as 1996. It is likely to have arrived on wood packing material and has succeeded due to its lack of natural predators and unevolved prey tree species. It was first detected in Thunder Bay the summer of 2016 at the corner of Memorial Avenue and 4th Street. Since then, the city of Thunder Bay has been working to stop the spread and prevent the destruction caused by this invasive beetle. You may have seen these green rectangular prisms hanging in some city trees. These are pheromone traps and are coated in a sticky substance and synthetic pheromones, which both attracts and traps emerald ash borers. These are used to survey the populations of the beetle within the city. The damage that the insect does to the tree isn't visible from the outside. The adult beetle lays eggs on the bark, and as those eggs hatch, the larvae burrow in and start consuming the transport tissue, the cambium, of the tree. This girdles the tree and causes a physiological drought. Even if it rains, the tree is experiencing drought conditions. The larvae form S-shaped galleries, which are usually filled with excrement and sawdust, and that's the cavities that the transport tissue can't transport the nutrients and water up the tree. The city has voted to treat half of the city's eligible ash trees. This amounts to about 1,700 ash trees. You may have seen the ash identification band on some trees, pheromone traps, or city crews removing ash trees. You may have also seen crews injecting ash trees with the biopesticide Triazin. Triazin is an insecticide developed by the Canadian Forest Service. It's not harmful to humans or animals, but if wood-boring insects ingest treated tissue, it disrupts their growth and development. You can prevent the movement of this invasive insect by not transporting firewood. If you're going to camp, buy the firewood there or source it from your property. The city has an adopt a tree program in which a homeowner can request that their boulevard ash tree, which is not already slated for treatment, can be injected with the biopesticide Triazin at their expense. A qualified city forestry employee will come and inspect the tree, assessing it, and determine whether or not it's worth injecting. If it is deemed worthy of injection, the homeowner can pay the authorized injection contractor to inject the tree for that year. It's important to remember that Triazin, the biopesticide, is only effective if the tree is injected with it every other year during the infestation. More information can be found in our Adopt a Tree episode. I'm an Emerald Ash Borer, and I approve this message. If you wish to find out more information about me or the city's urban forestry efforts, visit our website.